you know, I was going to include Hamza and his Adonis Academy in the studio statisticians video together with Destiny. But the more you look at this guy, the more you realize how he really deserves his own episode. It is sad because people like him are exactly where kids the society failed fall into. When the real life advice they get from their families and school don't work, they go to Hamza. Now Hamza started this Adonis Academy, so-called Academy, that he charges teens 500 for. It is so obvious that he tries to copy Andrew Tate. Oh, Hustlers University, wow, that was a hit. I will name mine Adonis University, then changes university to Academy. <laughs> Guys, everybody opens their own university these days. Is it time for me to open Hamudi University? <laughs> Only for a small entrance fee of $799, of course. <laughs> I will teach you how to attract the girl of your dreams. The secrets. <laughs> these are such deep secrets, even I haven't discovered them yet. <laughs> that is how deep. The secrets are <laughs> apply for Hamid University now, only for $799. <laughs> but joking aside, the gist uh, of his Adonis Academy is basically teaching overly ambitious kids how to become a YouTuber and lift, lift weights. He sells you a delusional dream of making 10,000 bucks a month of your YouTube channel and gives you lifting advice. 500 entrance fee upfront, then 100 a month for each month that you fail to realize what's up, depending on how long it is gonna take you to come to terms with the reality that you aren't that guy, <laughs> you aren't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> Peep this. So what do you get when you become a student at Adonis School? The business model you will learn. The best business you could start as a beginner, becoming a synthesizer. That is where you literally get paid for learning stuff that you are passionate about and then teaching it to others. The process is simple. 1. Learn about things you are interested in. 2. Improve your life using what you have just learned. 3. Tell the story of what you did online on social media. 4. Get your small audience to pay to access more of your teachings. You work your own hours with no real boss. You literally make millions whilst wearing a bathrobe. <laughs> you never have to commit for work again unlike all the poor Jeffreys who just don't get it. Everyone else thinks this is impossible, but you know, this lifestyle is within your grasp. You just need more sport. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Adonis School will change everything. <laughs> Basically telling you to open a gym lifting YouTube channel like he did and charge viewers. That is gonna be 500, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it is always funny how they use the same crappy marketing techniques they have learned on the internet. <laughs> First, they give out a fake, made-up number, made-up calculation of value, and it is gonna be some very specific number to make it look legitimate. They go, oh, total value, $21,876.46. <laughs> but I priced $1,000 purely out of goodness of my heart. Oh, wow, you are so generous, Hamza. You are so generous, man. We should be grateful. We are not worthy of you. <laughs> And they go, oh, I don't even need the money. I priced the thousand dollars to weed out the ones that aren't serious. Or they say, oh, you will feel more invested and take it more seriously if you pay that much money. <laughs> I am charging you thousand for your own good, not mine. The best way to then post onto social media, in my opinion, is actually like the Tate TikTok method. And you don't even have to post like TikTok or shorts, by the way. You can po repost like the entire video. You can post like a five minute version of one of my long videos. It's just a normal YouTube video. And eventually that will make you add sense as well. He used to charge $1,000 per month, by the way. Yes, 1000 per month for this so-called academy. <laughs> He didn't see the numbers he wanted, of course, instead changed it to 500, then 100 per month. Oh, I promise you, you won't see a cheaper price. He wanted to test the waters, more like he wanted to test how far he could go, test the stupidity and desperation. You really think a dude like Hamza would cut the price so drastically if it was actually selling like he claims? Would never do it in a million years. Then the question that begs to be asked is this, was he lying then or is he lying now? You be the judge. I am just asking questions. Because if there is demand, you just don't cut the price so drastically. This is business 101. Guys, you gotta understand. All marketing scheme 
I feel bad for those teenagers, really. Negligent parents who give their credit card to their 13 years old, 14 years old children. Go play and leave me alone. And the result is this. Goes back to the family pill I was talking about. But back to the topic, I don't want to ramble too much about this. He's telling teenagers to become YouTubers, fitness YouTubers or whatever they are interested in and giving them lifting advice. Now, I don't even consider myself a YouTuber. This is not my main job, but I know how things work. Guys, I promise you this. Not only you can find those tips and advice on the internet for free, both for YouTube and lifting, but even if you follow every single advice religiously, chances are you will never even make 100 bucks a month, let alone 10,000. It is an extremely saturated market. For one guy who is grinding YouTube and social media just to pay the bills, there are thousands who can't make it. It comes down to a lot of different factors, luck included. Guys, life is all about finding the blue ocean, where there is less competition. Hamza is right when he said success is all about beating your competition. It is not about being the best, it is about just being better than your competition. Maybe you've not been told this, but this is so important. Listen, success is all based on dominating other people, specifically other men. They teach you this in school, by the way. In business, it is called Red Blue Ocean. Red Ocean, basically a metaphor. A market where the competition, the fight in the water is so harsh. The blood turns the ocean red. Everything in life is relative. You gotta understand this. If everyone is a chat in a room, nobody is. Stop trying to be perfect. There is a French proverb. Perfect is the enemy of good. 100% true. True in personal life and true in business life. Stop chasing perfection in life. You just need to put yourself in a market where it is more feasible for you to be better than your competitors. You just gotta ask yourself this question. Do I have what it takes? I'm gonna just pitch you my uh, affiliate program here. Things. You are here. You like a product. You mention the product to someone and you make money from that. Why would you not want that? That's awesome. You make money, the product sells, so the product's like creator makes money, and the guy, the customer, gets what he wants. Perfect. Let's say you're gonna go through it the way that, you know, the Tate method was, which you'll clip up the TikToks and everything, and you know, you'll kind of post content which isn't yours. So let's say you wanna affiliate for me, right? Just clicking on the link's not enough, right? We need them to actually purchase it. Let's just say, by this rough math, you would need 10,000 views on a TikTok or a YouTube short to get one sale. You could expect that every 10K views you get on one of these TikToks or shorts, you end up getting one sale, which is $250. YouTube social media cloud chasing to make a career out of it is an extremely saturated market, guys. Is it doable? Of course it is. But in a red ocean, you gotta have some edging, outstanding qualities. You gotta be offering products that other companies can't offer if you're operating in the same market. The question is, do you have these qualities? Because 99% of those kids simply do not. That 500 they pay will always be a painful memory for those kids when they grow up a couple of years later. They will reflect back and think, damn. 500 down the drain or learn something you enjoy then start a youtube channel bro like 99 percent of people can't make enough no matter how much they follow your advice i already know whatever advice he has he's gonna say consistent content uh, make it fun clickbait titles better thumbnails collaborate with bigger youtubers offer them money if need be you know he's gonna say tips and tricks to trigger youtube algorithm and other stuff you can easily find on the internet or you are gonna grow an audience and sell them stuff to make money bro you majorly overestimate the feasibility of this even if one was to follow your every single advice and did every everything right. Especially saturated stuff like coding, lifting, gaming and stuff. The same 2010 brother. But to get paid $250 is huge. I remember when Tate was going viral and his thing took over the internet. I think he was paying like $16 or $26 for his one. Sneeko, I believe, plays about, paid about the same amount. I'm paying 10 times that. 10 times. $10,000 a month, become a little entrepreneur, buy this course and you will be making millions wearing a bathrobe. <laughs> and of course, 13 years old, 14 years old kids don't know any better. Those kids are failed by their parents 
and society also. And people like Andrew Tate and Hamza make a profit off of them. <laughs> Dude, if you plan to make videos because you want to, do it. But I wouldn't suggest it as a career, as a way of making a living. I started making videos just because I was passionate about it. That's literally it. I just wanted to make videos because I thought a lot of men like myself were being lied to. I want to reach those people. Even if you do get the views I do, you will be making more money by simply working a part-time job. Like, this is a net negative for me financially if you consider the opportunity cost like you majorly overestimate the feasibility of this i mean the numbers are out there man like how many people there are not making enough for one person that makes it especially if you are entering such a saturated niche like lifting literally any brain that rat can lift things up and put them down now if you can find and create that blue ocean market that is what it's all about that blue ocean could be something unique to you let's say you have some unique and interesting skills in life now you can leverage that it could be your looks your skills your experiences whatever or you can see discover a new trend that not many people are aware of a new concept or a new website or whatever like deciding to be a youtuber Back in 2010, back then when even if your content was crappy, you didn't have as many competitors. But the advice he gives to those kids is genuinely harmful. You could go back to your Jeffrey friends, or maybe you could listen to your parents and go get a real job, or go to university. That sounds like a great idea. Being set opposite a fat lecturer whose breath stinks of coffee with his shirt slightly untucked. You are not even present whilst he speaks to the lecture hall. Just dreaming about the life you could have had. But you are in university, right? Enjoy yourself. Whilst other men are building their dream lives as entrepreneurs, just like I did. The choice is there in front of you. The average life of Jeffries or the superior journey of Adonis. Guys, I know this is not what you want to hear, but going to university, as long as you are going for a useful degree, useful STEM degree, or learning its rate is the way to go for 99% of men, rather than trying to be a YouTuber and sell people scam courses online. Those kids can't be Hamza, bro. This is a dangerous advice for 99% of 13 to 18 years old kids watching his videos. Those kids don't understand how outlier you gotta be to make even 500 a month, let alone make millions. I can promise you this. The expected return of a normal regular job he is looking down on is higher than grinding on social media for the 99% of males. You are gonna ask, does he give refunds? Of course he doesn't. <laughs> Buy add on a school now. Do you give refunds? Fuck no. You can cancel your monthly membership, but I don't give out refunds. Do universities give out refunds? <laughs> If a student ends up with a poor grade, that's on the student, not the university. <laughs> it is beyond comical how this guy actually compares his online scheme to an actual university degree. You know what, man? I take it back. I take it back. If there are men who are willing to pay for this, that is like economic Darwinism, bro. It is the natural redistribution of resources. He deserves every single cent he gets. This is the economic Darwinism at its finest. I shouldn't even make this video really. My subscriber or not, if you don't have the mental capacity to see through this, you won't make it far in life, regardless. You won't be able to keep that money anyway. Let me show you, this is how much Adonis school has made in the last few weeks, uh, in the last like two months. I'll wait for it, there. 200 and see, see this number there, $278,000 since April the 17th. So just over two months ago, yes, it's about maybe about eight weeks now, 280K. And then in the last year was $300,000. So half a million in the last year, but this has only been from two months ago. So in the last two months, I've made over $300,000. He makes hundreds of thousands of it, by the way. It just shows you, as long as you sell hope, even if it is false, misguided hope, even if it is an actually harmful advice, it is gonna sell more than the truth, than the genuine helping advice. And then we have some guys here that are mad, just because I have a Patreon link. Oh, he is grifting. <laughs> Bro, that would be the dumbest grift ever. You are never gonna make much money of people's donations and generosity. Trust me when I say this, I am one of the very few 
who didn't try to grift at your expense. Maybe face send LMS too, but he doesn't make videos anymore. If you think asking for donations is the way, you are the dumbest grifter alive. If you think that is a good way to make money, you should go by Adonis Academy. That is your intelligence level. You can never ever build a successful income by relying on the generosity of random people online. In order to grift, you will need to sell fake solutions. It could be anything as long as it is fake. Then it would be grifting indeed. The dumbest idea that offers a solution, it could be the worst idea ever. But as long as it claims to solve people's problems, it will bring you a bigger income. It could be something as dumb as, hey man, if you want to grow taller, you know, just go drink bleach. But as long as it offers hope, it will bring you more money than what my Patreon brings. Like, if I were to turn that Hamudi Academy joke into a reality, sadly, it would bring me more money. And that is the sad truth. Why did you put a donation link? Grifter! Oh wow, five bucks. Grand theft. <laughs> I don't even spam it everywhere in the video like everybody else does. You would think I am covering half of the screen with the donation link or something. Some of the stuff people say, man. I try to not pay attention, but you know, haters are gonna run their mouth. This channel is a net negative for me, financially, when you consider its opportunity cost for me. And the Discord thing. Bro, the only reason I even added the Discord there is because when I originally opened an account first, donors were asking themselves if there was a Discord server. That is when I decided to open a server for those people. I am sorry, but you are out of your mind. If you expect me to put the link here, put the invite link here and deal with hundreds of trolls, that is not gonna happen, brother. I am not selling any shortcuts or solutions. And don't worry bro, I am not making any significant money from it. You can be happy now, if that is what you are bothered about. <laughs> the power a white woman has in the legal system is f***ing atrocious, especially if you're not a white, like if you're a white man yourself, so f but if you're like a, a minority man, you are f***ed. If a white girl wants you to be in jail or some shit bro, you are f The police, society, all these little white knights, all, all everyone else around you will believe the white woman over you. 9.9 .9 times out of 10. And like I said before, there are out of correct statement, but it is more about why rather than what. He is right in this clip, but the motive behind this is to try to create a sense of connection with people he's trying to charge 500. Because he knows out of brown kids watching him go through the same stuff. Everybody loves an underdog story. This is a pattern you can observe in out of successful public figures. Oh, I was so poor. And then through sheer determination and willpower, I became rich. Despite all the cards decked against me, I did everything myself. They all speak like that. Even people like Elon Musk think like that. Imagine how delusional you gotta be. How out of touch with the reality you gotta be. Trump, remember? just a small loan of a couple millions from my father. I am a self-made millionaire. Why do they speak like that? Because that kind of underdog story, one, resonate with people you want to scam. Two, it gives your scam more credibility. If people believe you were poor, you can say, look, I am the proof of concept. My program works. Three, it successfully gaslights your audience. It is a form of gaslight also. Well, I was poor and look where I am now. So if, when, it doesn't work for you, you start to believe it is your fault. It is you who did something wrong. And fourth, lastly, it feeds their ego. You gotta understand, people like Hamza are narcissists. So that rhetoric inflates their ego. Further inflate their already inflated ego. Even if they were really not poor or disadvantaged, they will trick themselves into believing that they were. Just take a look at his community post. 25 to 26 years old, I made the most progress in my life. I went from celebrating my 25th birthday in Thailand and getting drunk whilst my channel was declining and I had been maintaining 20k a month income for a year to turning 26 years old today and I am celebrating it with my usual routine that I love. I tenfold my monthly income in a year. I work with incredible men. I have out of love in my life. The biggest advice I would give to my 25 year old self. Research Harmozy's three constraints. I guess that is when he said I will just copy Hustlers University and call it Adon's Academy and charge my teenager subs 500 a month for it. <laughs> and then his broke viewers paying him that money wonder how they are gonna get rich. 
he got rich off of you. Paying Hamza and Andrew Tate to get rich is very much like a zebra paying a lion to learn how to hunt. You are never ever gonna be rich by crappy gigs like copywriting or affiliate marketing. Tell them, oh, by the way, have you seen Hamza's uh, uh, done a school, by the way, bro? Is, you know, join the, with this link, man. But 99% of fools who buy that course are never gonna make it. And people like Hamza and Andrew are counting on it. They are banking on that. They need that. He needs that you fail so that he can tell you it is your fault. For not trying hard enough. Or not being patient enough. Oh look, Harmoz is teachings, bro. You gotta stay us up for years to make it, bro. It is your fault. You didn't stay up on my course for five years. That's why it is so insidious. It plants this false idea in people's heads that they can be the outlier. It drives them off a cliff by luring them with false hope. His entire model relies on suckers, staying suckers. And you wonder, Hamza, how did you make it, bro? Look in the mirror, my guy. Look in the mirror. Tate, Hamza, Fresh and Fit, those guys didn't make it by doing the stuff they tell you to do. Understand that. You go do that copywriting stuff and you are gonna keep copywriting just to be able to pay your bills for the rest of your life. Guys like Andrew Tate are gonna tell you, oh, just plug out a system, get out the matrix, don't go to conventional schools, those schools are matrix schools. Guys, getting a proper useful university degree or learning a trade is gonna be much more helpful than any grinding gig these guys are charging you hundreds of dollars for. That I can guarantee you. Once again, you gotta understand, it is a pyramid scheme. The feasibility of their business model relies on you staying at the bottom and keep paying them. The sad reality people don't like to hear, don't like to admit, is that in order for some people to succeed in life, others have to fail. He knows most of his clients won't make it and shouldn't make it so that he can stay at the top. That is the way it is gotta be. And so there's three things. They did this research study that said that ultra successful people have three common traits. Number one is they have a superiority complex. They think they're better than everybody. They think they, they can do bigger things. Second is that they, are, they have crippling insecurity of not being enough. And then the third one is impulse control. So it's they know where they want to go. They have a way drive to not be a failure. And they stay focused on it because of impulse control. The idea here is if we can do that, <laughs> we will be more successful. And the reason that most people don't make money is because they can't wait 12 months. This is the harmless guy he's talking about, by the way. Another self-proclaimed self-improvement guru. Oh, all successful people think they are better than other people, except that is the effect, my guy, not the cause. The world is filled with unsuccessful narcissistic people. Also, it is a complete and utter BS that all successful people have this crippling insecurity about not being enough. They are not insecure about not being enough. Their efforts not being enough. If anything, they often overrate their own efforts and ability and chances to succeed. <laughs> and then his third constraint. Oh, you gotta be patient. You gotta wait at least 12 months, bro. In order to be successful, you gotta keep paying me 500 a month for at least 12 months. <laughs> I mean, sadly, gaslighting and shaming men have always been useful ways to extract money from them. The success of people like Andrew Tate and Hamza demonstrate how bad things are for the average man. I feel like out of those kids who pay Andrew Tate and Hamza will find their way here when they grow up mentally. Sooner or later, let's hope sooner rather than later for their own sake.